Yo, what's up guys? It's Jenny Sec here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Grace Samsung, the Grace UI on your Galaxy Note 5. So that's pretty much all I found it for was the Galaxy Note 5 too. As you can see here, Galaxy Note 5 labeled on the back. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. So uh, first off, what you're gonna need to do is it should show in your settings. If it doesn't, then you need to find some type of way to unlock your bootloader, but go to about device, go to build number, tap it a whole bunch of times until it says that, hit the back button, go to developer options, and make sure OEM unlock is checked. And by the way, I am not held responsible for you damaging your device, I'm sorry. And just a disclaimer, this does trip the, I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so that trip thing, that, uh, yeah, I can't remember really. But the Samsung Knox thing in the bootloader, that thing, the counter, that's going to be tripped. So after that, if you go ahead and do this, there is no way to come back from that and you can't get no support or anything if you're currently on a protection thing on it. Well, if you have insurance, you should be okay, but I'm talking about warranty. That's what I'm talking about. But you should... Uh, be aware of that. I already did be aw went aware of that, and you might not be able to use Samsung Pay after this. So that's a possibility. I'm sure there's people who already figured that out in the forums and next VA. But whatever. Let's stop talking and let's go ahead and flash this thing on our No5 then. All right. So uh, we got to this part now. I know a whole different uh, lighting here, but. Pretty much here, just swipe to unlock it, uh, swipe to allow modifications, and then here you uh, go to your computer, or you get an OTG cable and you move the, uh, or you can you can download it too. You can download it too. Uh, the file that I left in the description below. So in there you would find it and download, but I didn't even move it yet. I didn't even download it from the phone. I just did it from there so I'm gonna go to the computer right now and I'm gonna go uh, download this thing so if you're gonna do it from here uh, you can just regularly plug it into the computer and start transferring your files so yeah I'll be right back with you so the transfer just finished so from here uh, uh, just swipe to unlock and it should be somewhere right here so DODX, apparently that's what it says. I don't know how you say it, but I got a T-Mobile variant, so it should work fine for you if you got the same one as me, or Verizon, or any of that other stuff. Before you go ahead and do that though, go into wipe and swipe to swipe to factory reset. That's what you're gonna do. Wow, that's quick. Alright, so hit back. And then hit install uh, that swipe to flash and then it's gonna go ahead and put everything on there so see already uh, yeah so VK ROM no 5 uh, installing system that's what it's doing right now so I'll get right back to you after this finishes all right, so uh, looks like it finished then. So uh, from here, uh, I know I see a lot more active than I did before, but hit right here, wipe cache uh, slash Dalvik, or I still don't know how to pronounce that, but after that's finished, just hit reboot system and you should be good to go. takes a little bit to start up maybe 10 minutes or so uh, at the top I would say 15 minutes if it doesn't load then then I would start 
go into the recovery and try to reset it again but yeah so band lte uh i think that's some kind of swedish company or something phone company i'm not sure but it's installing now but i'll go ahead and give you the review you know pretty much when it's done so yeah thanks for watching please subscribe to jane second more videos hit that thumbs up button if you like this review coming up right after this but i'll see you in the next one bye